All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into how to create a stock template. First, we're going to open up BizTrack. We're going to go to the Inventory tab and select on Stock Counting. From there, we're going to select New Stock Count. And in the Reference field, we're going to go ahead and name this count. You can name it whatever you want. For this example, we're going to name it Z2x4 for quick reference for myself later. Make sure you select Template. Then from there, move right down to Options. Make sure that entire stock to be counted is selected and then use tickets for stock counting. If this is showing no, for this example, if I'm out counting 716, so is B. And we have 300 sheets in one pile and then I move to the next pile and I have 500 sheets and I count those separately and I add both of those to my count. Every time I add over another number or if I counted the 300, then count the 500, the 500 will overwrite the 300 showing that you only have an available quantity of that 500. So if in use tickets for stock counting, if we select multiple product counts per ticket, now every time I count a different pile, that 300 and that 500, with multiple product counts per ticket selected, it will actually combine those and give me the real time number that we have of that 800. So ensure multiple product counts is selected there. Moving down the list, we're gonna include specials that are in stock. We're gonna include non-stock products that are in stock. We're gonna include unranked products with negative stock and include unranked products with zero stock. From there, the last selection is stock counting reason code. We wanna make sure that we're seeing cycle count adjustment. This is gonna change our numbers real time as soon as we complete our count. It's gonna throw it real time into the system and that day and it will show us exactly what we have out there on the shelves. Once we have all our options selected, we go to criteria, go to add, and go to products. At this point, all we're gonna start doing is listing all those product codes that we want in order, whoops, or if we get to a point where we mistype a code, it will automatically pull up a search engine for us, and then we can co co quickly correct that code, and it'll bring us right back into our list to where we can continue. And with a little lag, and a little bit later, once we have all our products actually listed that we wanna count in this particular list, we're gonna go ahead and select close, we're gonna hit okay. And then at this point, we are done creating a template. If you go back over to your general tab, you'll notice that you are not able to activate at this point. We first need to save the template. So select F12 or okay. And it'll bring us back out to our stock count browser. In the view drop down menu, if you come and select templates, and I like to select on reference just to throw them in alphabetical order. And then I can easily find my Z20 or Z2 by four template that I just created. Double click on that and that brings me back up to a point where now I can copy and activate. If you'll notice at this point I still have the ability of uh, changing or uh, selecting different options. Basic rule of thumb here is make sure we have multiple product counts per ticket showing, cycle count adjustment, and then select every box of options that it will. And that's basically the layman or the main rule of thumb there. Once you have your options in place, you can copy and activate and we can actually go out and do our count.